guys welcome back to a brand new video today and um, today is my Premier League predictions for week 26 um, a few shocks happened over this past weekend Liverpool drawing to West Ham um, you know uh, Anagar Solskjaer looking for 10 games unbeaten which we'll be going up against Fulham for that and I'll get on to that in a minute um, but guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, as you can tell, the first game I kick off with, um, and I've just mentioned them, is Fulham versus Manchester United. Uh, Anagar Solskjaer looking for his first 10 games unbeaten. No other manager has done it, so he will be the first. Um, Fulham, on the other hand, has had a bouncy week. Uh, beating Brighton 4-2 and then losing to Palace. Um, you know, with, Bright with that Brighton game, I don't think I should have ever got back into it. But Palace just really did push them aside. So, fair play. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going to go for 5-0 Manchester United win. The next one is a bit of a London derby. It's Palace versus West Ham. Now, as I've just mentioned about West Ham losing to uh, drawing to Liverpool, losing, drawing I mean, um, to Liverpool. Um, I thought they deserved to win that game. To be all honest with you, um, and I've just mentioned how Palace got them against Fulham. So with this one, I'm going to back it up for a West Ham win, and I'm going to back it up for a three-one West Ham win. I'm expecting a few goals from West Ham in this next couple of weeks. The next one is Huddersfield versus Arsenal. Excuse me. Um, Arsenal having a bouncy week again. Um, you know, losing City, uh, you know, it's, I think it really is a bouncy season for Arsenal. Huddersfield, on the other hand, bottom of the league, losing 5 0 to Chelsea this previous weekend, just gone. Um, you know, they look like definitely will be going down one way or the other. But I'm going to stick up for the red side of London, and I'm going to stick up for a 3 0 Huddersfield, 3 0 Arsenal win. The next one is Liverpool versus Bournemouth. Now, as I've just said, Liverpool um, have drew to West Ham. Um, Bournemouth have lost to Cardiff and beat Chelsea. So it's been a bouncy week for them as well. Um, but as well as the game goes, I'm going to stick up for Liverpool and I'm going to stick up for a 2-1 Liverpool win. The next one is Southampton versus Cardiff. Now, the, up to the developments on the Cardiff City, uh, Cardiff City player that went missing, they have found the plane and they have found, uh, you know, the wreckage. So, hopefully... You know, it started to look a little bit faint now, but hopefully the worst comes to the worst, they will find him and the fa his own family will be down to rest. Um, you know, it's, it's a horrible thing. I never wish it to any part of any club. Um, you know, it's one of the things that really does put football into perspective when things like this happen. With this game, anyway, I'm going to go with a 3-0 Cardiff City win. The next one is Watford versus Everton. Watford draw into Brighton. Um, this weekend just gone. Everton, the Black Cat, and they lost the Wolves. Um, I'm going to stick up for Watford for this game. And I'm going to stick up for a 3-0 uh, Watford win. The next one is Brighton versus Burnley. Ever so fine Burnley. Um, going up against a very dodgy Brighton side. Um, Brighton, for example, drawing 0 0 to Watford, as I've just mentioned, and then losing 4 2 to Fulham, which I mentioned earlier in this video. 
Um, Burnley, on the other hand, are looking like they're going to be in that relegation scrap come the last few games of the season. Um, but I'm going to stick up for Brighton for this one, and I'm going to stick up for a 3-1 Brighton win. The next one is Spurs versus Leicester. Um, you know, after Liverpool uh, not beating West Ham, it looks like a top three title race now. Um, going up against a very dodgy Leicester side, but Leicester do deserve to get a point against Manchester United this previous weekend just gone. Um, you know, and as I've said, Spurs have looked like they're going to a free dog uh, title race. But Spurs the game, guys, I'm going to stick up for Tottenham, and I'm going to stick up for a 3 1 Tottenham win. The next, I'm just going to say the score. If you want to know what I'm thinking of this game, please go back, watch my big match preview because um, there is some other bits in there about up and coming videos, especially when the season's off. Um, it's Manchester City Chelsea, and you would have been able to tell that behind me already. Um, I've been thinking about this game a lot, and I'm going to just stick up with a draw, and I'm going to stick up for a 2 2 scoreline. I'm expecting Man City to get caught out quite a bit, especially the likes of Hazard up and Woody Am on the ball. Uh, the last one for this weekend um, is Wolves versus Newcastle. Low flying Newcastle. Um, against a very okay Wolves side. Um, I'm going to give it to Wolves and I'm going to go for a 3-0 scoreline for that one. Um, guys, the end of my video. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.